Hi everyone, this is uh, Dr. Rathi. Now today we are going to explain the uh, show that uh, gamma of 1 by 2 equals to root pi. Okay, uh, here we have to prove that uh, by taking, uh, uh, prove that result means uh, the relation between beta and uh, gamma function. Okay, uh, here we have to write the relation between beta and gamma function means, uh, see like this, beta of m comma n equals to gamma of 1 by 2 into sorry gamma of m into gamma of n by gamma of uh, m plus n and then here we have to choose let m equals to 1 by 2 n equals to 1 by 2 okay now substitute this 1 by beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to gamma of 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 by gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Okay. Next, see like this. Here, we have to write gamma of 1 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2 by gamma of 1, beta of 1 by 2, comma 1 by 2, beta of 1 by 2, comma 1 by 2 equals to gamma of 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 why because here gamma of 1 equals to 1 okay uh, next uh, assuming that uh, uh, here gamma of 1 by 2 whole square this can be written as uh, see like this uh, beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to gamma of 1 by 2 whole square now gamma of 1 by 2 equals to write this square root of uh, beta of uh, 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 assuming that equation number 1 now here let beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 write the definition of uh, the definition of uh, uh, beta function we know that the definition of beta function means x power m minus 1 1 minus x whole power n minus 1 dx here m means 1 by 2 and n means 1 by 2. So, x power m minus 1 means write 1 by 2 minus 1. 1 minus x whole power n minus 1, right? 1 by 2 minus dx. Okay, next uh, integral of 0 to 1, right? Like this, minus 1 by 2. And then write, this is 1 minus x whole power minus 1 by 2 dx next beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to. and this uh, integration uh, solution we have to prove that uh, taking your let uh, x equals to sin square theta and then differentiating this uh, dx equals to 2 sin theta again with respect to sin theta means cos theta Okay, and then also changing the limits uh, here if x equals to 0 and theta equals to 1 x equals to 1 then theta equals to pi by 2 okay uh, next uh, here assuming those uh, assumptions in the above integration then we'll get beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 integral of 0 to pi by 2 x means sin square theta whole power minus 1 by 2. 1 minus sin square theta whole power minus 1 by 2. 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. Okay, on next, see like this. In these two, right before the integration, integral of 0 to pi by 2. Here, 2 to gets cancels. Then, we will get to write sin power minus 1 theta or sin theta whole power minus 1. Here 1 minus sin square theta means cos square theta whole power minus 1 by 2. Here 2 2 gets cancels sin theta cos theta d theta. Here also 2 2 gets cancels. Next write 0 to pi by 2 sin power minus 1 theta cos power minus 1 theta sin theta cos theta d theta okay this can be written as integral of 0 to pi by 2 
1 by sin theta into 1 by cos theta sin theta cos theta d theta. Okay, oh, sin theta sin theta gets cancelled. Cos theta cos theta gets cancelled. 2 integral of 0 to pi by 2 d theta only d theta. 2 into integral of 0 to pi by 2. Sorry. Here in this d theta after integration will get here right theta. After applying 0 to pi by 2 limits then we will get to write 2 into. First of all here substitute upper limit and then lower limit. This is 2 into pi by 2. 2 to gets cancels. The answer will get pi. Therefore here b2 of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to pi. Suppose here taking root of beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to root pi. This is equation number 2. Assuming that here. Okay. Next equation 1 means here what is the equation 1? Gamma of 1 by 2 equals to root of beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Again we will get here root of beta of 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 equals to root pi. In this both equations uh, comparing 1 and 2. Then we will get to write here gamma of 1 by 2 equals to root pi. Okay, oh, thank you.